What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today we're gonna to be talking about seven habits that make you uglier. If you do these things while you're talking to a girl that you like, or even when you're out in a social event and somebody sees you from across the way, if you're doing these things, universally you will always be seen as uglier or almost always be seen as uglier. So it's better if you don't do these things and I'm gonna give you the thing that you shouldn't do and I'll give you the thing that you should do instead so you can be more attractive to the the opposite sex. All right, let's get into the first one. Number one is closed posture. I see a lot of guys who walk around in life and when they're talking to a girl that they like, they walk around like they don't want to be seen. Maybe they're looking at the ground, maybe they got their hands in their pockets, maybe they're just hunched over. Dude, why are you, have, why are you being hunched over, man? You want people to see you, you want to be noticed, you want to be someone who is out there and is comfortable in yourself, okay? Portray a certain level of confidence and even if you don't feel it down inside, at least change your physiology and I guarantee you, you're going to feel more confident. So if I see a guy who's kind of closed off, hunched over I encourage him to stand up straight head held high you know and, and take up more room like you see kind of where how I'm sitting now I see too many guys kind of sitting like this like you know they're cramped inside a subway or something like that now take up more space man like you deserve it Thing two is something I know all about, which is angry or negative expression. I don't know if you've been watching my channel or can see my face, but I got angry eyebrows. If I walk around with my usual expression, people think I'm about to murder somebody. <laughs> Am I about to murder somebody? Not usually. Okay, so I usually like to have like a little bit of a smile on my face, just like a light little bit of positivity to myself, and that allows people to see that I'm not this like angry person all the time, because universally, although we portray as like action heroes or like very masculine manly men as being these like angry figures who are never happy never smile uh, women are actually not that into that okay or, or they might be into it in terms of a movie character but in terms of someone that they want to date someone that they want to talk to or have fun with uh, almost universally women prefer a guy with a little bit more of a smile a little bit more of fun and positivity to himself okay so if you're this guy the kind of guy who's rocking this like James Bond kind of character bro even James Bond has like a little sly uh, smile to himself. Um, so I mean, there's tons of guys that have coached. I remember one guy who I would always see with like a you know angry expression on his face, and I'm like, dude, like why do you always have that angry expression on my face? Haven't you seen mine? How much better it is if I smile? How much more people like me? And so once he started doing that, he started noticing that women actually started coming up to him and approaching him as opposed to him always having to walk up to them and then running away. Number three is an unclean face or just an unkempt face or just an unclempt or unhygienic appearance. Guys, your hygiene is super important. The way you take care of your body, your face, all of this stuff matters. Women notice this a lot more than you. If you have like a dirty, like porous and slimy face, women are gonna see that. They're gonna see it a lot faster than you. They notice these things about the people that they talk to. And especially if you're a guy who wants to be attractive to women, you wanna make sure you take care of this. I remember when I was in my early 20s, dude, I never took care of this stuff. I don't know how any single woman would, would have slept with me back then, but it somehow happened. And when I, when I first figured this out, a lot of people said I started to look better as time went on. The truth is I looked exactly the same. The only thing that changed was the fact that I started taking care of my body and my appearance just a little bit more. Maybe it means putting some moisturizer on, maybe it means washing your face, or just taking a quick look to see if any hairs are out of place if you're a little bit older. Um, just take a quick glance in the mirror, make sure that everything's looking good and you don't have anything too crazy going on, and I guarantee you that's gonna make all the difference. Number four is bad breath or bad teeth. Now I understand there might be some people watching this video that have bad teeth and that's okay. But what's not okay is if you don't take care of your teeth. If you don't brush your teeth, if you don't floss, if you have bad breath, women are not gonna like you. I remember very distinctly there was this one girl who I really liked a long time ago. Um, she was so hot and like every time I talked to her, I just couldn't get the fact that her breath smelled bad out of my head. And even when I would see her across the road or something like that, I would think about that bad smell and I was just not attracted to her after that, okay? I don't want any of you watching this video to be that person. People associate smells with people that they meet. And if they associate a bad smell with you, you're gonna be really unattractive. And guys, if you're worried about not having perfect teeth, it's okay to not have perfect teeth. It's not okay to not take care of them. I mean, you look at me, I don't really have perfect teeth, but I take care of them and so a lot of people don't notice. Number five is terrible style. If you don't take care of your style, women will notice this. If you're the guy who walks outside and don't, and trust me, 
I used to be this guy, okay? Just look at my other videos. I would put random assorted items on my clothing and dude, I looked, I looked terrible. I don't know what I was thinking when I was putting those things on, okay? But if you're a guy who comes outside and you think that wearing basketball shorts, sneakers, and a stained t-shirt is an okay outfit to wear to the bars or to wear out or wear to wear to dinner, you're probably not getting very many girls or maybe you're 17, <laughs> all right? Uh, so take care of the stuff that you wear. This matters especially as you get older and older. Women will notice what you are wearing. And if you take just a little bit of time to find clothes that match, to wear a shirt that's not wrinkled, to wear items that don't cost $2 at Walmart, then you're probably gonna have a lot more success. If some clients, if I literally just dress them the right way, they can boost their rating with women out of 10 up like a point and a half. Meaning if you're like a six and you know how to dress, you can boost yourself up to a seven and a half, maybe even an eight if you really know what you're doing. So it t it's just as easy as looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, hey, do, does this make me look good? Does, is the fit of the clothing good for me? The fit is the most important. Now, this is not a fashion channel, but what I'm saying is that just take the time to make sure that what you're wearing complements your body, makes you look good, has favorable colors, um, and it just takes a quick look in the mirror for you to really be able to see that most of the time. But a lot of guys don't even look at themselves. So if you do that, you're putting yourself ahead of most guys. Number six, this is a more of a behavioral thing, but it's being too aggressive or too negative. You always know who that guy is in the conversation. Maybe he's talking over you. Maybe he's like, uh, he's getting offended super easily. Maybe he's yelling or trying to out alpha somebody else or bully you. Dude, this guy is universally not liked by most people, okay? Yes, I know there's a lot of videos out there teaching you to be the alpha, but I got a news flash for you. That's not how you be the alpha or whatever your definition of that is, okay? It is a recipe though for people to think that you are an asshole and not someone that they really want to hang out with, okay? So a lot of guys who are insecure tend to do this and women pick up on this super quickly. A lot of guys think women don't notice this, but they do. But if you have that calm, relaxed level of confidence, that's kind of more what they're looking for. But if you get offended or you jump on things and you're arguing or talking over people or just being generally too physically aggressive too, women are very very sensitive to that and it actually turns them off instantly. That's one of the things that they've proven by uh, studies is that being a guy who's too overly aggressive can turn a woman off instantly and then she instantly goes into fight or flight. So if you're that guy, I would recommend that you ease off a little bit relax and have that kind of cool confidence that women are looking for. And number seven, the final one is playing the victim. I see as a dating coach, I see this all the time with men. Men always are playing the victim when they blame everything else but themselves for why things are bad. They uh, blame other people. They act, they play the pity card all the time. They act needy. This person is universally disliked by both sexes, but especially women. If you're playing the victim, I can guarantee you that will turn off 100% of the female population. Women do not like this guy. That you know, If you're being like, I don't know, the white knight kind of guy who's like, you know, uh, thinks the world is against them or thinks things are unfair, that's not the kind of person that's gonna be successful. And women understand this. They're looking for a guy who likes to take charge of things, who doesn't blame other people for his misgivings and takes charge of life and boosts himself up. So be more like that guy. And this is something that I talk about in my channel at all. Hopefully you've seen from watching my videos that it is possible no matter who you are or where you come from to improve your dating life, to improve your life in general. So there's a lot of things to be thankful for as a guy. As a guy, we can improve our situations. Women can improve their situations. But as men, we haven't even added benefits of going after this and if you're seen as a guy who does this women will recognize it and you're gonna be universally more attractive cool well those are the seven habits that I have these are easy to change and some of them may be a little bit harder but it's a conscious choice every single day to take care of these things and I know there's gonna be times where maybe you delve into some of them every now and then that's okay man just remind yourself where you want to be and every day make a decision to become more like that man that's what I talk about on my channel that's what I train my clients to do more in their everyday lives and uh, hopefully you got a little bit of that from watching this video so thanks a lot you guys if you may attend consider subscribing I come up with videos like this every single week please hit the notification notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.